ourselves and others, as well as sort of the hallmark things that you see a lot of times in on TV when they talk about you know mental health disorders, which are social withdrawal, isolation, more so than we have to right now, right? Um, and lack of communication. Shout out to Lip and Cotton Lip and Cotton. All right, guys, I am almost near Columbus Farmer's Market. Uh, it's obviously raining. Uh, yesterday, I had a really good day at uh, Berlin Farmer's Market, uh, just hanging out with Andre and his boy. We were selling stuff, so uh, it was a good productive day and uh, fun, too. Uh, today, I'm just meeting up with uh, my homeboy, Leland. Uh, he has, like, a comic book for me and... He was at someone's birthday yesterday and his family and they were cooking like all this amazing like, uh, what was it? It was like Korean barbecue and other stuff, like other amazing ethnic foods and stuff. He was posting photos on Instagram and I'm like, oh, it looks so good. Oh my God. Dude, this guy, Leland, <laughs> he's straight up. He's like, yo, I'm going to put together a big thing for you and uh, just go to the market tomorrow. <laughs> so he's bringing me a bunch of like all this amazing food. Um, just to have and I'm not going to say no to amazing food from a friend so uh, yeah can't wait to try all this barbecue and shrimps and amazing food uh, probably for lunch today with Maggie stick around maybe I'll you know give you a little video of all that but anyway uh, oh yeah and I'll just show you guys what the market looks like here's me pulling up <laughs> Columbus Market Obviously no one here, although the indoors are open, so, uh, but that opens at 8, it's uh, not even 7 yet right now. So, yeah, there's no one here. Uh, that might be Leland over there. So we'll see. I think that's his car. Mitsubishi. Who's that? Who? Oh, 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 I think that's him. Uh, today at the flea market. Uh, but, like, I went around every other uh, comic book places, they don't have those anymore. Ah, oh, man, there's water. <laughs> Damn it. I actually want to preserve this one. No! <laughs> That's so adorable. He's like, what's up? I'm ready to go. <laughs> Your Uber's here. <laughs> Uh, that's awesome though. I was gonna keep uh, it that I might keep Andre's it. Andre's wheeling and dealing. <laughs> well I'm like that let me see before I because I cleared everything out, but I'm like I like the, like I saw one out of the box online. Yeah, nice. And I'm like maybe I'll Oh yeah. <laughs> Hold on, stand still Leland, I wanna get the back of your jacket. That's freaking awesome. Chuck Live. Dork Society. <laughs> that's awesome. What's is this? Like this is actually my friend's brand. Oh, he, he cool. deals with a lot of wrestling. Uh, wrestlers. Ooh. He deals with a lot of Japanese wrestlers. Now, you want to give you the website? Yes. He's <laughs> in New Jersey, bro. Like, he's been. I've been like trading stuff from him, and he. I trade figures for him, and then he trades me merchandise like jackets and all that shit. Nice. So, no, I'm just, dude, I'm digging this jacket, like... Nice, right? Yeah! And then it still has a, you know, Ben from Street Fighter. Ben, Ben, Ben. Ben, Ben. Ben, yes, the, yeah, yeah like the red, tail. yeah. He has a pink car. Yeah. <laughs> he's like the new one, right? Somewhat, yeah. I have his jacket, because he's my favorite character. His uh, fighting style sucks, so... Uh. It's like the worst fighting style ever, that's so why I, I like using him, because, like, nobody really uses him. Okay. So, like, that's the way I, the way I see it. If you use like a sucky character, no one really knows. Yeah. Fight them, you and fly. you get all the merch for freaking super cheap. <laughs> no one wants Dan. So that's him right there. So all elite wrestling. That's his stuff right there. 
he deals with all that stuff. Like, Andre's like, that's what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> uh, oh. The Howell one had those the Master of the Universe. Uh, Walter Ring jacket right? up there. Yeah. Nice. He, he makes Are you looking for that John Siena transparent guy? He was over there. So go go that's the same website with that. Okay. okay. Oh. There you go. I'll just up, 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 zoom, zoom, zoom. Come on, come on. There we go. Got it. Hey guys, Mike hooked me up with this sword. We don't know what it's from. Let us know so we can be educated. Yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mike. This has honestly. I wish there was two of these. I would cut off the handle and use it like a wing, on a, on something. You know. It almost looks like it should light up. Yeah, right? I think it should, yeah. I bet you the battery is just dead. Well, dying. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is Mike's stuff, right? Yeah. If anyone's interested in anything. Can you hold this up so nothing gets wet? It's gonna show it real quick. You got these guys. This is what everybody wants from Mike. It's uh, $25. There's wiggle room for... I like this guy with the mouth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. This is really cool. Um, but yeah, he's selling all this. Oh, you have two. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right, I don't, I don't want to keep getting the sweater than it already is. I messed up his packing technique here. <laughs> Sorry. All right, I'm just gonna leave this. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's just extra stuff I had in the car. All right, there you go. There's ships. You saw the side of it. There you go. Cool. About it, yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> Thanks, man. And uh, Andre is uh, selling some illegal things. I've got wares. That's how it works. Yeah. If nobody can sell at the market, meet up with friends and sell to each other, trade with each other. Yeah, I didn't even know Mike was going to be here. Ah! Let me get. Here we go. We're rolling. Mike Laser Rescue Team Sapper, or sounds like a. <laughs> that's oh oh, cool. Laser right. That's cool. I love that. That looks so cool, man. And oh, God, okay. <laughs> cool. No, this has potential, actually, Mike. Yeah, I do. I, you know, I couldn't find any markings on it. Oh, there's a light bulb down there. Yeah. I don't know. I'll, s <laughs> I'll see if it works. If it doesn't work, this is going to be a steampunk gun, man. No, I'm really digging, like, the, the patterns and the mold in that. All right, everyone's like, all right, stop showing us that gun. <laughs> there's Eric's uh, PMPS ride. Look at this guy. Man, I didn't know all these guys were coming out today. We were going to meet up for some exchanges too, but I didn't know I was coming. They didn't know they were coming. Ah, oh, man. Showing you guys real quick. Mike and Eric also showed up. Everyone's here. <laughs> Andre had to go. Dude, she's looking nice. Um, no, I didn't get to that yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, luckily it's not a problem yet, but I'm gonna order the header, um, because there's a company that does, like, custom headers for it. Nice. That's, that's nice. It's a little more, but for, like, It's worth it if you love your car, man. Yeah, well, you can have the same problem if you buy for the stock. Yeah, so if yeah. I spend, like, $250 on another one <laughs> that didn't have crap in a few years. Yeah. I might as well spend five and I'll get a stainless steel little header that's better be clean. For sure, man, yeah. Oh, yeah, I might as well show people the accident. Check that out. This little colorful shot of that. Look at those, holy crap. Nice, right? These are my nephews and he didn't want them. So oh, my God, yeah. He and my son and he doesn't want them now. He's got a Pokemon. Yeah. So, are you picking those up, Leland? Oh, Eric, okay, cool. I know you were saying you're into Pokemon again. All right. It's an Optimus. Yeah, from Beast Wars, right? Who's it? 
Uh, up Prime. I think Megatron. Yeah, my bad. Wow. Prime with the gorilla. Yes, yes, yes. I used to have. When the siege thing's over, they're going to do a primal war, or whatever they're going to call it. Yeah. Yeah, I guess the. I you know, dude, I watched Beast Wars, so like that was my thing. I watched the last time I watched. I mean, I watched the Netflix, which is an awesome show. Um, then I watched the uh, was it Transformers Prime? Well, the animation was cool, but the storyline was kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's getting out of Transformers, then. So. I hear you. Yeah, the wings are cool. So you you brought that. No, he bought he bought the um, the Batman statues off me. Okay, okay. And then the um a bunch of Pokemon stuff. Okay, so cool. Your stuff I have. I just been adding stuff for your art. <laughs> I really appreciate that. That's so cool. All you do is buy the DVDs off him. It's like hey, this is for his art and this for his art. And then I have a book you give to Andre. It's okay. Just yeah, it was here. I was just leaving too. It's crazy. You guys show. I don't want enough to put a book so he can, he can just have. It. I know you wanted it, so he can just have it. Okay, cool. I'll, um, all right, let me turn this off. Quick update. <laughs> Eric and Mike are helping me out. Apparently my passenger side freaking brake just locked up, and it just drags. It doesn't spin. We don't know what the hell. We think it's because of rust or whatever. But I drove all the way here. Nothing was seizing. There shouldn't have been rust on it by the time I got here. It would have worn off, but whatever. You can do it, Mike. Eric, watch your eye. <laughs> I think they put them on some Yeah, those impact wrenches. Yeah. Yeah. When I got my car, I, found I had to replace the um, the washer on the lug nut that goes on the or not the lug nut, but the, the nut that goes on the oil pan. Yeah. They just like impact wrenched it and like destroyed the washer. Uh, so it's like you know, just stupid. Yeah, yeah. Just people like yeah, we don't care about your car. That's why I changed the oil. Oh yeah, that's that's always the best way. All right. Come on. Just a real quick update. I'm not trying to make this into a video, but I just wanted to show these awesome people that are helping me out. Eric and his dad and Mike stayed too a little bit. So we found out it's the back uh, brake pad. So uh, we're gonna go try to buy a new one. All right, I gotta get back in there and do this. <laughs> All right, I'm with Eric and his uh, Batmobile. <laughs> This is such a cool car, but yeah, we're on our way to what, AutoZone? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to pick up two brake pads and uh, try to fix that. His dad's here. It's un unbelievable. Like, it's unlucky that this happened, but it's lucky that Eric was here, because if he wasn't here, I'm really not sure how I would have handled this, uh, honestly, so. Probably would have had to have a toad. Yeah, exactly, and I don't have AAA anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it would have been a, a, an adventure, anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I'll keep you posted, guys. <laughs> it's my first time riding in this car too. Like I, I like his car a lot. So anyway, all right. Oh shit, Dan's here. <laughs> well, Dan showed up. Yeah, we're back, guys. We uh, here you go. We got it. Freaking thirty. There's the guys. Yeah. Really digging the view out of this car. Let me get all the pumps. Of course. Hey, Dan. Well, that was a surprise. He showed up. These guys are saints. <laughs> Dan's here for emotional support. <laughs> I know, right? Ooh, hey guys, all right. I am soaked. <laughs> She's busted up knuckles from all the screwing and unscrewing. Okay, I'm gonna try to get in the shot. Um, so yeah, we're uh, we're done. Um, Eric and his dad like came through for me so much and like so I don't know. I can't really show you much of this, but uh, also because I'm <laughs> driving. But uh, holy crap, Aroni, man. Anyway. The brake pads are completely rusted, they're completely like disintegrated on that one side of the wheel that locked up. So like, basically the, the brake pads just shattered, like once we took it off it just kind of fell apart in a whole bunch of little pieces, uh, rust, just disgusting crap. So that's what happened, somehow that caused it to like seize up, I guess the piston went through the brake pad and some sensor made it lock up, I don't know. But yeah, again, Eric! 
<laughs> and Eric's dad. Thanks. I forgot Eric's dad's uh, name because I only see him once in a while. Um, but yeah, you guys, really amazing. Hey, I got to drive around, uh, ride around with Eric and his uh, Solstice, which was freaking awesome. Uh, love that car. Never been in that car, so it's really cool. Um, but yeah, this was quite an adventure, man. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I just wanted to thank Leland for coming through with this blessing from his, uh, was it niece's or someone's birthday party? I think it was your niece's birthday party. Yeah, I think I remember that. <laughs> Leland, thank you for the delicious food. I can't wait to have that for lunch, to be honest with you, after all this stressful stuff. Like, I was literally going to the market just to, like, see Leland real quick, grab um, uh, what he had for me real quick, and uh, the, the food, <laughs> and then go home and enjoy that, you know? But, um, yeah, so we hung out, we talked for a while, uh, Andre left, and then uh, I was trying to back out, and it felt like I had a, a flat tire, you know? It was kind of like that weird draggy feeling. And uh, then all the guys are like, no, no, stop! <laughs> so I, I stopped and they're like, yeah, your back wheel is not turning in any way, shape, or form. I was like, okay. So yeah, so after that, that's the, that's what happened. Uh, thank God that Eric's dad had like all the tools, the right things for the brake pads, you know, for changing it. You need like a compressor, uh, C-clamp, or whatever they're called. So um, yeah, they did that. Uh, took the brake pad off. Uh, we changed them. Me and Eric drove out and got the pads. Uh, that was like 30 something bucks for those ceramic babies uh, and that's it man uh, so yeah we changed that and then Eric's dad like comes through like once we finished the wheel and it was turning everything's fine Eric's dad's like no well, let's do the other one we're already doing it I was like are you kidding me like sorry guys I I'm not used to like nice people like you know I have a couple of friends here at the market that are amazing and I have a couple of friends in my life like that but like most mostly all people don't like come through and help and just do it and don't like even ask money for it like I was trying to find out like what can I do for you guys they're like no 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 you know it's just you know happy to help it's good to help people I was like yes <laughs> it's what I try to do when I can but yeah guys um, uh, anyway I'm just blown away by the niceness of people I mean my homeboy Leland comes through with this delicious food just so that me and Maggie can taste it and try it because like his Instagram pictures were amazing. Uh, I wasn't expecting him to give me any. He's like, yeah man, just be there tomorrow. I'll bring you the food. I was like, oh, I wasn't even going to go to the market. I had other stuff to do. Uh, anyway, so yeah. Sorry guys, I'm babbling. I know. I'm, I just don't know what to say. This is just crazy. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm just, anyway. So yeah, Leland also came through with this uh, from Free Comic Book Day. Ranger Slayer. Uh, me and Maggie are probably going to go Monday to Brave New Worlds in Philly and pick up um, that actual book. Anyway, yeah, that's it. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, yeah, so yeah, all the guys basically traded with each other, uh, sold things to each other, traded with each other, whatever, because the market's closed. So, you know, that's how we do. We still, it still goes on, even if no one else is there. But yeah, it's getting much darker, much worse. So uh, yeah, Sunday is definitely out for all regions of this area. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Oh, all right, I'm gonna go get some coffee and drive home. I'm I'm about 45 minutes away from here. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking around. Um, this video was probably like just like 15, 20 minutes for you guys. Um, it is 11:30. So I've been here since 7 o'clock, mostly fixing the brakes. So yeah, everyone that was here, uh, Mike, okay, there's two mics. We don't have another nickname for the other mic, but yeah, well, I called him Dino Charge Mike, so yeah, Mike was there, Star Wars Mike was there, Leland was there, Andre was there, everybody was there, um, so, oh, shit. sorry guys, there's just, ah, okay. So yeah, it was really good seeing all you guys there. Uh, if you're watching this, thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Um, uh, oh yeah, Dan showed up too. I didn't even, like, I didn't know he was coming. I wasn't expecting him to come at all. Uh, we came back with uh, Eric, well, you saw. We're like, oh my God, Dan's there. So yeah, it was good to see him. I haven't seen him in a while. Um, yeah, so yeah, thank you all. Eric, Eric's dad. <laughs> Thank you guys. You guys are saints. I'm gonna like take you out for dinner or something or get you something really cool because um, 
good deeds uh, deserve stuff like that. They, they don't need to be punished, you know what I mean? So yeah. Alright, my brain is shutting down. I'm gonna get on the highway and get the fudge out of here. Uh, yeah, that's it. Live long and prosper, everybody. Be good to each other. Um, love people and use things, because uh, the other way just doesn't work, you know? That's what the uh, minimalists say. Check that out on YouTube if you need to uh, straighten out that life of yours. All right, everybody. <laughs> Peace out. I'm really going to go this time. All right, guys. So I'm in uh, my last stop of a stressful day today. This is uh, Dunkin' Donuts. That's. Uh... So I wanted to ask you guys, um, when you order something from a Dunkin' Donuts or anywhere else, um, you know how they put a whole bunch of ice in like an iced coffee? Um, so I'm kind of curious. Uh, if you ask for less ice, do you get less drink? I'm sorry, but what the fuck? <laughs> like, doesn't... Yo, can you guys not give me so much ice that, you know, most of the drink is ice? You know, that's usually why you ask for less ice, so you get more of the drink. So I get this large thing here, and it's like... This goes for about five bucks. This is a medium, bro. It's not filled up. I did not drink this. The, I'm still in the driveway right there. I, I come up and I ask him, like, hey, man, what's up? Is this, like, did someone have a drink out of here? Like, this isn't filled up, bro. Um, His answer was, no, uh, because you asked for less ice, we gave you less ice, but we still gave you the same amount of whatever measured drinks they give you that's bullshit no that's not how it works you're supposed to fill it up i'm not paying you for ice i'm paying you for the matcha fill it up with a motherfucking matcha and then add ice to it i don't know am i wrong am i like completely off base let me know in the comments i mean you know i had a kind of bad morning so i'm not in the best mood but i think i'm handling it good i mean under other circumstances i'd probably go like inside and be like, yo. But yeah, I don't know. I was kind of tempted to get rid of this. He was kind of giving me an attitude. And uh, to be honest with you, this is bullshit. Because, uh, I don't know. I don't like this. This is bullshit. It shouldn't be like this. This is, a, you know, whatever. Okay. Uh, just wanted to vent out to you guys. Because, like, when someone hands you something like this, you know, I don't want a used half-drunk drink. Thank you. All right. Rent over. Bye. <sighs> Fuck that Dunkin' Donuts, man. That's the plaza it's in. I just hope, like, someone's like, shows up here one day and be like, I don't want half a fucking large. Can I have extra ice? Does that mean you give me a second small cup with the spillover? Does that make sense? Fuck! Okay, there's just a really quick thing. I wanted to show this. It's not coming out as lovely as I wanted it because it's dark in this room. But look how freaking delicious all that looks. Korean barbecue. You guys saw it. Leland hooked us up. Maggie. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. So yeah, there's your tasty goodness. Shrimp. We got pork. We got sesame. Probably chicken. Then you got these little rib things. And we made some mashed potatoes. 